uh, there will be questions of implementation and enforcement thereafter, but I'll come to that a little later. In fact, I, I move on now to uh, Chef uh, Manjeet Singh Gill. And uh, to you, sir, uh, I have a very peculiar kind of question, but I think it is of importance. And that is, yeah. you know, who, who misses trans fat, uh, fatty acid laden, a delicious food taste? Uh, do the customers miss it or do you miss it while cooking, in fact? I mean, uh, has the taste, taste, aroma, flavor being compromised yeah. by switching over, assuming that uh, uh, most of the chefs during their plate taking have uh, assured that uh, they will be switching over. So, uh, who's, who's missing out on that particular frame of mind, what taste, uh, et cetera, in terms of switching over to, uh, from trans fatty acids? Uh, Banaspati to other oils. Doctor. Mrs. Daniel, Mrs. Daniel, anybody, any chef who has good taste will never cook in the ice fat. People are only now, because it is in the practice of 60, 70 years, 80 years, people are just having a fixed mind and using it. This hydrogen fat should be banned immediately. And the food will improve, the taste will improve, and people will see that the how much fat they are using now, they will use 30% less fat even, and the food will be much more tasty. So there is nothing, there is nobody can challenge this, that the taste is better of the hydrogen fat, and not. It only makes the difference of the texture. That also the Western bakery products, they are two or three paste, where it makes a difference. In the Indian food, it has absolutely no role to play. It's only if we use the oils, we have all single oils like mustard oil, sesame oil, coconut oil, they all is to the food and give character to the food. And supreme fat, the key improves yet go the food fantastic. Only in the bakery there's some problem that it things can be find out. It's not that difficult. But Indian food, India in India, there is nothing that which makes us use. It is only the my food manufacturers are, or the chefs are using is only to save money. It is not the taste and all that. Then they compare it, taste with the hydrogen fat and the refined oil. They don't taste between hydrogen fat and ghee. I, I hope you are hearing me. Yes, Hello? Please, yes, yes. Please go on. Please go on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there is nothing. Taste up hydrogen fat. It will be any good role for this. Thank you, uh, Chef Gail, uh, for uh, bursting a myth which was out of argument against uh, removal of uh, trans fat from Vanaspati. And uh, this is a myth buster, indeed, comes as a surprise for most of the viewers. Uh, I would now uh, move on to uh, Mr. Devan, the Yadav uh, of Jubilant Foods. Uh, Mr. Yadav, uh, this is a very important case uh, of uh, domination of, uh, uh, I would say, Vanaspati from fast food industry. As we all know, Domino's are delivering uh, food every day, fast food every day, and uh, we always rank the fast food uh, and the foods as uh, number one culprit in using trans fats uh, in Vanaspati, compromising on consumer health. How has Jubilant Foods and uh, Domino's uh, broken this barrier, and what was the cost, Mr. Yadav? Yeah, uh, thank you, Asim, and thank you, uh, Team CIA Face, uh, for inviting this. And uh, as like uh, start with this uh, uh, restaurant industry, almost 4.25 lakh crores restaurant industry, out of which only 35 percent is about the organized industry, and with a non fact of like India disease. State, uh, uh, disease burden control, uh, three of the five leading causes, individual causes of this disease is particularly to the non uh, communicated disease. And if we see the data, even like 5.8 million deaths, out which percent alone is accounted due to the TFA or the transfer acid. 
so uh, domino uh, being a uh, signatory of the uh, eat right pledge with uh, ffsai has started its journey and have a clear road map uh, up to 2022 not only with the transferred but the uh, salt reduction as well so we have a uh, clearly four hours which we work around is revisit and then uh, we have reduce then remove and then retain or sustain so this four hour concept we uh, working around it and i can uh, share what uh, uh, chef has just mentioned also it is it is uh, it's it, it simple thing to move from hydrogenated veg uh, vegetable fats to the alternate uh, uh, options which are available and uh, doable and we and dominoes have done this and uh, we said uh, on the reduce part for we go to the reduce part Uh, because now all SBO are transferred available from all leading manufacturer as well. But for uh, what we did because the test part also matter to the consumer, and uh, so what we did we first initially reduce the total fat of uh, HBO by 25 percent, and then uh, parallelly we worked on removing this HBO through the interestified fat, which is IE, so which has a better uh, you know functional properties as well as the same deliverable test what hvo can give it so that has uh, helped us significantly in terms of reducing the, uh, the saturated fat trans fat as i said already uh, hvo are available in the trans fat free so in this journey jfl has constantly and and continuously improvising the product experience as well as the innovation uh, because this is a need of power this 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 uh, the trans fatty acid is 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 a real culprit of of ncd uh, disease we have and uh, because of this journey we are able to sustain it and we have like currently we have reduced uh, almost 15% of the saturated fat from our uh, menu and uh, trans fat we already uh, trans fat free and uh, obviously there are some challenges do come being like cheese is one of the deliver where the natural trans fat does appear and uh, so how to mitigate that there are options of uh, low fat cheese low fat paneer that's also uh, parallelly we working on how to mitigate even that natural appearing uh, trans fat into our product so uh, as on date all our side items all our offerings are trans fat free and uh, any new product whenever comes the first that uh, red tag list is whether it contains hvo or no if it is hvo it uh, from the design itself is knocked out and alternate option as i said which we implemented has helped us to retain the trans fat free status and continuously working on like removing alternate options whenever like hvo they are re replace it by the refined oil which has more unsaturated fatty acids so that option has worked with us and we continue working on to remove fat as a category uh, to an acceptable threshold limit only so that's what uh, currently we've been able to achieve and our journey is uh, as said is long it not will stop immediately so so we will continue to reduce all this uh, the salt sugar and uh, fat from our manufacturer